May the 10th, 2015, the update on my aquaponics greenhouse Dutch bucket system, which has been operating since January 1st, which is about five months. The system is working just fine. Things are growing good. Over on this side, I changed my fill and drain buckets over to soil. I was having trouble with the roots growing around the auto siphon. So I abandoned it. I'll do a little comparison and see how well the soil does in comparison to aquaponics. This is tomatoes. Got a couple of tomatoes coming in. What I may do over here next time, change this to a Dutch bucket like this table. A 48 Dutch buckets over here. But half the water comes out on this side through a one inch pipe into this 15 gallon fill and drain. There's a huge siphon in there. It's working good for five months. And the water drains out the one inch pipe into these quarter inch quarter inch pipes. And then the bucket drain underneath into uh, half drums. And then the half drums drain into spring gutter. I put some filter to help guide the water down into the, the rain gutter. And up here, the water drains out in a little filter bucket that I clean out about once a week. And then in the center, I've added that. Uh, filter. This is a two-inch pipe that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank. Draws water up. Filters out sediment from the bottom. I still have eight goldfish and one koi. They're doing well. Air pump. It's a really great air pump. Probably the best air pump they have. It's, there is. It's a uh, fuel diaphragm, general hydroponic. I have another air pump. Probably only works half as well. I'm not even using it right now. So the water is cycling out now. It'll cycle out for a couple of minutes. I'm not having any trouble with water flow. These things have been flowing well for five months. However, I do have a little brush. I've used this a couple of times. Just shove it in there and pull it out. Clean out any slime that builds up. The slime hasn't really built up over here. A bunch of cucumbers growing up the vine. Some tomatoes. Some melons. I was hoping to get a whole bunch of strawberries. I've been harvesting a little bit. Another melon on the other side. Supposed to be some little melons that are real juicy. And some thyme. And a rose plant. There's one of my cucumbers. I've got cucumbers all over this thing. It's going to be cucumbers. Keep them 
flavors below are for pickling. So see okay, how well the, the soil versus aquaponics works. I'm using uh, aquaponics water. Watering this stuff every couple of days or so. So this is just potting soil with some worm castings. I'm keeping the mulch really good. So this plant started with aquaponics and the cucumber I've cut down some because it was wilting. The tomato's still doing well. Still waiting for the tomato flowers to pollinate because I'm not getting any tomatoes. Supposedly you just the bee will come along and shake the flowers and drop the pollen or you can use an electric toothbrush, which is what I did on the ones over here and they did pollinate. But I've got four of them over here that haven't pollinated yet for some reason. I'm getting a lot of flower buds. It's just a matter of time before the tomatoes finally start growing. Well, that's been five months and the system is doing really good. The only thing about this system is I have to add about 30 gallons of water a week from evaporation and consumption. I don't see any detectable leaks. That's about it for now. Thanks for looking. Try to update again one of these days.